Good morning, 47. Your target is Cody Haynes, obsessive art collector currently in the process of procuring the complete oeuvre of Cecil Bardou. Haynes went underground six years ago to escape his wife's family after embezzling their fast food empire to pay for his art habit. Freed from all social ties, his collecting took a turn to a dark extreme. Intel shows that he not only needs to possess the artworks, but that he cannot accept any previous owners being left alive. Our client, the gallerist who originally sold the artworks of Cecil Bardou, is worried the killings will taint his business. Furthermore, he owns one of the paintings in his private collection, putting his name on Haynes' kill list. Your target's insatiable need to possess is leaving a bloody trail, and he must be stopped. Good luck, 47. Good morning, 47. Your target is Joanne Bayswater, a rogue assassin banished by... How shall I put it? One of our competing agencies. For many years, she was one of their top operatives. However, her self-confidence led to arrogance, putting civilians' lives at risk. Her handler, believing she was becoming a hazard, brought it up with the board. Miss Bayswater did not take well to this betrayal and went out of her way to seek revenge on the one she felt had stabbed her in the back. Now she has broken free and set up her own business as a final insult to our client, destroying the natural order. They have made multiple attempts to get rid of her, but she is always one step ahead, and this is why they have turned to us. They might be too proud to admit it, but they need the best. One does not defy the gods without consequences. Good luck, 47. Good evening, 47. Your target is Terence Chesterfield, a building inspector in title only. He is the sole connection between a series of preventable collapses, fires, and explosions that resulted in the loss of hundreds of lives. Outside of these catastrophes, Chesterfield's lax inspection practices have saved property owners a fortune in renovations. When it seemed like he was about to face consequences for his negligence, the local landlords association was happy to cover the cost of his high-powered legal team. Refusing to so much as change careers, Chesterfield has relocated to Berlin in an attempt to keep a low profile. The clients, members of a private fund established to help Chesterfield's victims, believe it's only a matter of time before his negligence leads to another disaster. Good luck, 47. Good evening, 47. Your target is Philo Newcomb, a wedding planner whose CV reads like a Shakespearean tragedy. While his job is to make dream weddings a reality, he is not in the business of fairy tale endings. When one half of a couple catches his eye, Newcomb will ingratiate himself with them. Then during the course of his work, he will covertly murder their partner to clear the way for his romantic overtures. Our client was once the subject of Newcomb's infatuation and lost the love of her life as a result. Having some suspicions, she's followed Newcomb's career closely ever since and noticed a pattern of ill-fated lovers emerging in his wake. When she heard he'd been hired by a couple planning a destination wedding in Argentina, she contacted us about putting an end to Newcomb's sanguine love stories. Good luck, 47. Good morning, 47. Your targets are Jack Rowe, AKA Jakob Rowe, the charismatic celebrity chef specializing in new Nordic cuisine, and his partner in crime, Robert Burke, a well-established embalmer. The unlikely duo have been secretly working together in a diabolical scheme that could only come from a gothic novel. They have set up a rather bizarre business where, let's just say, nothing is off the menu. However, our client, a celebrity who wants to remain anonymous, has somehow come across the shocking truth of Mr. Rowe's secret ingredient and managed to connect the two together. 
Embarrassed and disgusted, they have not been able to go to the authorities, as this would most likely lead to further scandal. So, they have turned to us. It's time to put an end to this ghoulish madness. Good luck, 47. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is known as Alison Moretta, for the moment. Neither of us have time to run through her full list of aliases. A con artist par excellence, she will stop at nothing to climb the social ladder, as our late client can attest. He met an unfortunate end after his usefulness to Moretta was expended. Interestingly, he had already set up a dead man's switch that initiated the contract on her life once he failed to check in. He must have anticipated what was coming, albeit too late. Moretta is currently entertaining aspirations of founding an art gallery and has singled out her next mark among those attending the inauguration of the Burj. She's trying to acquire a few anchor pieces for her permanent collection using whatever means necessary, which doesn't bode well for their current owner. Good luck. Good evening, 47. Your target is Sully the Crusher Bowden, a former middleweight champion. Known for his short temper and sudden bouts of rage, he has always been a ticking time bomb. Unpredictable and unruly in the ring, he finally crossed the line when he killed an opponent during a match. He showed no signs of remorse and was found guilty of first-degree manslaughter. However, he managed to flee the country and has since been on the run, making a living setting up illegal fight matches that are closer to death matches. Bowden has a lot of blood on his hands. The grieving family of the victim have reached out to us for closure. And after an extensive search, we've tracked him down in Chongqing. They want to have done to him what was done to their son. An eye for an eye, 47. Good luck. <laughs> 